Hi there, this is Ryer, your librarian at Centralia College. In this video today, I'm going to talk about permanent links and I'm going to show you how to find permanent links so that your students and anyone else in your class can always get to the resources that you're trying to share. Our databases and our subscription materials, um, those systems need to make sure that the users that are going to them are associated with the college. This is especially important for users that are accessing materials from off campus. So let's take a look first at how to share permanent links to the databases that we subscribe to. From the library's homepage, if you go to find and then databases, this will bring you to a list of our licensed databases that are subscription only, as well as a few select open access databases. Each of these databases directly to the right of the title and description, there's a share button. This is the best way to get a permanent link URL. You can click on this, and then you have a URL that, if you look for the word Centralia in it, um, basically what that means is it's going to check to make sure that someone is associated with Centralia College. So you copy and paste this into your Canvas class or into your email or wherever else you're sharing uh, these links with your students. For all of us, when we're accessing these from off campus, the link will take us to the Centralia College Library Proxy Server. At this point, students, faculty, and staff, we all log in with our last name and ID number. Once we log in to the Easy Proxy Server, it's going to redirect us into the database of our choice. Now let's take a look at how, do, how we find permanent links to individual sources. So if you're in a database and you have a source that you would like to share with your students, the best way to do that is to look for a permanent link. Um, each database has a different way of displaying this, but typically it's something called either a permanent link or a permalink. In this case, we get it up top. Again, notice that there's the, the word Centralia in here. This is a good check to make sure that the link probably is the kind of thing that will get your students in. So you can copy and paste this link and then share it with your students and they'll be able to log in to the Easy Proxy server and have the same kind of access to this. ProQuest is another very popular database platform and the permanent links in ProQuest are in a slightly different area. If you click this button for all options, right at the top is the permanent link. In OneSearch, you can find permanent links to an individual source by clicking the Actions menu, which is these three dots, and then click Permalink. And you'll get a link like this, which you can copy and paste. Okay, so now, hopefully you understand why permanent links are useful and really critical for ensuring access to the subscription library materials. And hopefully you have a good idea of how to do that for both databases and for individual articles. Remember, each database has a slightly different way of calling a permanent link a permanent link, and each database will have a slightly different place where they'll put those permanent links. 
but if you look around, you should be able to find them. If you have any problems at all, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Give me an email um, and I will help you find those permanent links and share materials with your students. Okay, thank you. Until next time.